Eh, hello everyone! Please remember to subscribe to Unrelent Gaming for the latest in Dragon Ball news and information. Also, please remember to turn on notifications if you want to see Bulma's titties. <laughs> Just when you thought you've seen it all, it looks like the son of Goku has finally returned, only this time he is, in fact, a god of destruction. What's going on, Dragon Ball fans? Welcome back to another episode of Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 Mods. Introducing, look at this dude, Super Saiyan 5 God of Destruction Zykor. Look at this dude! Look at the horns on his head. Look at the spikes in his elbows. Look at the spikes in his hand. This has to be, look at his tail. This has to be, if anything, one of the freshest looking mods that I've seen in quite some time. And today, we're gonna put Zykor's power up to the ultimate test in having him fight against none other than Limit Breaker Goku. Look at this dude, man. I don't, I, I, I honestly don't think that this is going to be Goku's full power, or at least like the pinnacle of like what he can, what, what he can ultimately achieve. But as the tournament continues, Let's go on ahead and see what happens. And again, guys, I do want to say that if you guys are new to this channel, be sure to go on ahead and punch that subscribe button and turn on notifications. That way you guys can be notified whenever a Dragon Ball video is posted onto this channel. Hashtag Notification Squad to be up to date with all the latest in Dragon Ball. And again, I will make the announcement now in saying that I have currently started the production of my next Xenoverse movie. Now, in case you guys don't know, my friend Itsenzu actually created another variation of God Broly. So the next Xenoverse movie that I'm doing is in fact going to be God Broly. So I hope you guys tune back in for that. The first ever Xenoverse movie that I did was the Gohan Black story involving Zamasu and stuff. But here, we're gonna have something entirely different. So we're gonna have God Broly return. I'm gonna try to base it off of the 4D movie, but let's just see how that carries on. So we have Zykor actually created by Toibo, aka Toriotaro, and isn't it just amazing to see Toriotaro create a character like this, and now having to work for Dragon Ball right now, having to work for Akira Toriyama, having to design stuff for him and whatnot, like, that's, that's motivation there, but even if this was the case, right, I firmly believe that a Super Saiyan 5 God of Destruction would completely annihilate, you know, Limit Breaker Goku, without, I mean, without question. Because first of all, considering how strong Super Saiyan 5 actually was in the Dragon Ball AF manga adaptation, and then having to look at their overall potential as fighters. Oh, what is this? Ooh, oh, he broke my stamina again. Damn it, I could have had Goku. See, I, I, I can beat Goku whenever I want. I'm just trying to like execute him. We're dishing out executions here. So what I want to know is what are your overall thoughts on the upcoming spoilers for Dragon Ball Super Episode 103, uh, 104, 105, 106, 107, etc, etc. Because, I mean, listen, we've had so many awesome spoilers that were shown, in which some came true, some did not. But I, what I want to know down below is which episode are you most excited for? Because thus far, between Episode 105 and 106, I'm gonna have to be more excited for Episode 106 just because there is this unknown entity going around uh, you know, attacking people without leaving a trace. And no, it's not Frieza, it, it, it's not Frost, because if you look at who it, who gets attacked, uh, Dr. Rota is one of the Universe 6 fighters. So if it is Frost that's attacking people, why would he ring out his own kind, you know what I'm saying? And if it's Frieza also, why would Frieza be dumb enough to target Gohan and Piccolo right from the start of this? Like, that doesn't make any sense. And here we have full-powered 100% final form Golden Frieza, which is just beautiful because you can only imagine as to how strong he would be if he were to achieve this. Imagine that, full power, 100% final form true Golden Frieza. That is a mouthful right there for you. So what I want to do is I want to see if I can execute Frieza right now. Oh, can I get him here by any chance? Oh, damn it. Just as I was going to do something, it was it was almost as if like he stopped me. So damn it. But again, I, what I want to what I want to know down below is what kind of mod battles do you guys want to see onto the channel? Comment down below. It pertains to what if battles. It pertains to any kind of you know team fight you guys want to see. Because this mod right now has to be one of the most beautiful mods that I've played in quite some time. So props to the people that created this man. Look at this sphere, and and, and even the sphere of destruction looks like a giant white ball of death, dude. Like that. That's beautiful throw Frieza in that direction, unleashing my supernova, it's over. Die, mortal. 
Is that going to hit Frieza? Can I hit Frieza with this? Let me see. Can I can I dupe him into this? Uh, did, did I catch him? No, I I, <laughs> I, I couldn't catch him actually. Alright, so that, that that's all I'm gonna do. I'm, I'm gonna grab him by the face and I'm just going to continue to toss his salad. Look at that. No competition. But what I also want to know is do you guys feel that you know Toyable is ever going to finish the Dragon Ball AF manga? Because Toyable originally did create, let me see something real fast, yes, Ultimate Form Goku having to fight Super Saiyan 5, God of Destruction, Zykor. This is going to be good. Because this variation of, of uh, Limit Break and Goku is far different than this. So let, let's see how this fares up right now. But in terms of Zykor, his final story, in case you guys haven't seen my videos on it, his final chapter was supposed to be him breaking out of the Z Sword and fighting Vegeta, Gohan, Majub, having to legitimately fight everybody. So oh, look at this, Zykor versus Son Goku. All right, so can father, can the father defeat the uh, the hybrid son? And mind you, if you guys don't know the history of, of Zykor, you guys might want to go on ahead and uh, look at my history and just check out the video that I explained Zykor's origins in because his origins are pretty deep. Wow, did he just block everything? Okay, hold on. I think we may have found ourselves a suitable opponent for Son Goku. Alright, so Zykor's health is just extreme right now, so, but can Limit Break and Goku get the job done? Look at this. And honestly, it's it's remarkable to see Toyotaro uh, work for Dragon Ball, so, well, at least work for the same company that makes Dragon Ball, like Toriyama and Toei and, and all of them, because, you know, a, as a fan, he started off as a fan, and now he's getting to live his dream. So that that's very inspirational, in my opinion, at least. But imagine if Zykor was in the Tournament of Power. Mind you, Zykor completely decimated several Super Saiyan 4s in the manga. He beat down... Uh, you know, Super Saiyan 4 Goku before Goku became a Super Saiyan 5. He also obtained Super Saiyan 5 in the manga. So it was almost as if, like, this dude was, like, invincible. Like, you know what I'm saying? And, but we never got a definitive story as to how he gets defeated, how he dies. I mean, we saw different kinds of portrayals as to what may happen to him, but never a definitive answer. Damn. That multi Kamehameha Kaioken. It's over. Mark my words. The times 20 Kamehameha multi-warp look at that dude, hell no. That limit breaking power equipped it with Kaioken times 20, it's a wrap. So let me see here real fast, cause Goku is whooping ass right now. All right, so we're gonna do, what I want to do is ultimate Goku having to fight against, you know what, let me fight Jin. Cause Jin happens to be one of my favorite gods in terms of like his demeanor, in terms of how he's presented, and hopefully enough down the line we get to see what he can do in terms of combat because we haven't seen him fight. So we can only make the assumption that he is relatively strong, but we can't say for sure because we haven't seen him do anything yet. So here we go. And granted, you know Dragon Ball has had its flaws and it continues to have many many flaws. However, if they choose, damn, he broke my stamina. If they choose to correct those plot holes and, and, and you know, giving us more information in the mangas and stuff, in which I, I, I really encourage you guys to read the mangas because in the mangas, it gives you so much information as to what the heck is happening. All right, so Jin's gonna be difficult to beat here. Can we use the multi-warp Kamehameha to put him down? You, actually, you, you know what we need? We need a, uh, a, a Jake Paul God of Destruction mod. We need some sort of like Jake Paul Limit Breaker mod. Just so we can beat his ass around. Damn, Jin is strong. Okay, so hold on. So as you guys can already tell, Goku cannot possibly land a single shot on Jin because of his ability to move out of the way so fast. Damn, yo, this is this is gonna suck ass. And even with possibly Zykor, it's gonna be really, really hard. Oh, there we go. To accurately hit this guy. And in which case, if this, if such an opponent was real in the parallel quests, in the expert missions, I mean, people would be screwed. I mean, they, they did have that in the Extreme Malice variation of it, but let's do God of Destruction Zykor versus, oh yes, Shadow Gohan. Look how awesome this dude looks. The Shadow Saiyans. Let's go ahead and battle them real fast. But again, I do want to say that if you guys enjoyed this video, 
be sure to go in ahead guys and check out my previous videos down in the description below guys you guys can go in ahead and check out tons of awesome videos from me that you guys would most definitely enjoy and right now let me see if shadow gohan can be comparative to the ultimate god of destruction that being zykor actually what i'm noticing right now is i'm not doing any damage to him which is bad which is very bad because i forgot that the shadow saiyans are one of the strongest beings that i have in this game right now so this is gonna be difficult holy shit all right you know what let me see something real fast come on come on Oh shit! All right, so I'm 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 gonna have to I I want to see if I can avoid him, just so I can avoid getting hit. But then again, this is gonna be really oh he grabbed me. Yeah, he, uh, wow! Look at the damage. All right, so Zykor stands no chance against these Shadow Sands. Actually, let me see. Can I grab Brody real fast? Let me see if I can grab him. Grab him. There we go. All right, Sphere of Destruction. Is this going to work? Hopefully it it does. Wow. Yo, they really need to fix that in this game. Don't you guys agree? Like, every single time you're about to unleash, like, some devastating attack, it, it's like the game kind of, like, dupes you on that. Like, in Xenoverse 1, you were able to use the Sphere of Destruction so easily, whereas opposed in this game, it's like, it, it's gonna take you a miracle just to just to unleash that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Just, just to connect. So that move is essentially useless, because what's the point of having that move if you legitimately cannot possibly connect that move to anybody but either way guys this was super saiyan 5 god of destruction zykor he looks great he plays very well um against the shadow saiyans that may not be the case because a lot of these mods are broken and a lot of them do have higher stats than other characters so i'm gonna have to be very very careful in having to fight these putty cats because uh let me see can i connect oh damn it if only i can connect that kamehameha man all I can really do right now is grab Gohan by the face and continuously just toss his salad. Cause like right now I, I can't do much. Let me see here. Can I can I do something here? Can I can I can I destroy him? And oh my god. See, I I knew that was gonna happen. Like most of these attacks, dude, like you get your you get your stamina busted, and it's just like what do you do after? The sphere of destruction is something that I definitely feel just ought to be fixed because like the, the sphere of destruction never ever worked it never ever freaking worked dude oh boy hold on hold on he, he's gonna try to get me oh oh wait a minute why we can break his stamina with that attack oh my goodness i i didn't even know that hold your horses i didn't even know that we had the same attack that that the other goku black had holy shit because th there was a god of destruction goku black model that had this attack and and legit we could have done all oh, we could have destroyed him eons ago destroy come on zykor bam oh look at that just as we unleash the blast he escapes all right so we lost that by, by mere luck oh hell no dude we lost that by mere luck all right so you know what i'm gonna do right now the final battle we're gonna do zykor versus his father we're gonna do that we're gonna go on ahead and end this battle off correctly in trying to see if Zykor has the necessary capabilities in breaking Goku's stamina and then having to just completely destroy him afterwards. But again, if you guys have not checked out my previous videos, guys, go on ahead and check them out. Dragon Ball Super Friends Episode 4, we have lots of awesome things, guys, uh, including the spoilers. Wow! Did he just really do that? Oh, there we go. Yes! Hello, father. You're supposed to have more power than me, I see. But it looks like your powers are no match for mine. I am the Hakaishin. Here we go. Bam. Did that work? Did that work? I have no idea what's happening right now. Alright, so he, he got hit, but it, it wasn't a, it wasn't like it did like severe damage. What's the burst strike? Let me see. Burst strike. Oh, hold on. I, I need to connect the burst strike. If I can connect the burst strike... Oh, we almost had him. If I can connect this attack, all else will be right in the world. I promise you that. Alright, come a little closer. Bam. There we go. Alright, Son Goku. Oh, what the hell? How was he able to do that? How in the F was he able to... Oh, there we go. Get out of my face. Yo, just complete annihilation. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna do one more. We're gonna do one more just because I pity him. I, I, I really do pity Goku right now. But if you guys want to see a survival challenge, if you guys want to see an, an, like an all-out God of Destruction fight, 
If you guys want to see any of the sorts, just let me know down in the comment section below, guys. Again, more awesome mods are going to be coming on the channel, including we have uh, Tenkaichi 3 mods, and which you, if you guys have missed out on that, be sure to go on ahead and check that out. We have tons of awesome mods on the channel, guys. So thank you all so much for your support. Thank you all so much for just your overall feedback and everything, guys. Everything, really. All right, let's, let's go on ahead and stop this, dude. Goku must be defeated. Yes, Kakarot. There we go. You dare trump me. Oh, there we go. It's over. It is. He's alive? Wow. Oh, wow. He's alive. All right, hold on. You know what I want to do? Let me see. Uh, the Nova. I want to see if I can... Oh, there we go. I'm, I'm going to kick him. Oh, never mind. See, what I was going to do was unleash my Supernova Destruction attack, but then again, I, I didn't know his health was that low. But either way, everybody, thank you all so much for watching. I truly, truly hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys did enjoy, be sure to go on ahead and slap a like on the video. Tune back in for more. More awesome battles are coming onto the channel. And I'll be seeing you all down in the comment section below. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Peace out.